Okay, it is the end of January 2017, Trump is president, everything is shit, but let's talk about some nice things. Maybe this video will cheer us all up. Here are some of my favourite things from January. Also, can you tell that I'm ill? That's another thing that is shit. Great start, 2017, you're doing real good. First of all, as usual, books. Okay, so the Banging Book Club this month is definitely not a favourite, as you will find out in the podcast that will be up in the next few days, and I will link that in the description, um, because the book was Fifty Shades of Grey. So, not a favourite, but Banging Book Club is a favourite of mine, because we've got our own Twitter, and also we did a mini episode. We, done, we do mini sets now, we're a fortnightly podcast. Unfortunately, Fifty Shades of Grey is a really long book, it's like 500 pages of absolute crap, so that took up most of my January reading time. But I did manage to read one other book, which is a favourite. You may remember last year I read Sarah Knight's first book, which is called The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck, and this is her second book, her second kind of anti-self-help, anti-guru, self-help, not self-help book. Get your shit together. As usual, her writing is hilarious. I think I prefer her first book, that just kind of like had more of an impact on me and actually helped me change a lot of the things that I was doing in my life. This, not so much. This was kind of just more entertaining to read and I don't mean to like be all on my high horse because she also tells you that you need to not be an insufferable prick but I have most of my shit together, I think. She kind of like splits people up into three categories and like one of the categories is um, <laughs> you are very like outwardly having your shit together but at some point you might have like a mental breakdown. So maybe I'm that one. And by me having my shit together, what I mean is, is that I'm happy. But yeah, definitely would recommend if you need a bit of tough love. Doesn't hold back, just kind of tells you very straight, get your shit together. Another January book favourite is my book, because this was the month that I received the first physical proof copy of my book. Oh my god, and I can't show it to you yet because the announcement of the book cover is happening on Friday, so make sure you are ready for that. Um, but I can't show it to you now, but I just want you to know that it's a favourite and I love it. No, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited. Also, if you didn't already see me shouting about it on Twitter, my book is now available for pre-order on the Book Depository website, which ships worldwide for free. So, link in the description for that if you want to pre-order it. Let's move on to films because it is Oscar season even though a lot of the Oscar nominated films still aren't out in the UK yet so there'll be loads more that I see in February but so far I have seen La La Land which I loved in terms of like the cinematography, the costume design and the songs and the last 20 minutes. So I have kind of like mixed opinions about La La Land. Overall loved it cinematography blew me away. I feel like La La Land is an average story told particularly well and it is very much elevated by its ending. Still loved it but I'm just not convinced by the hype. I also saw Manchester by the Sea which was just kind of heartbreaking, so heartbreaking and it was such a long film which I kind of feel like was done on purpose because it's putting the audience in this like position of pain because I was just like, oh my God, when's it gonna be over? I'm just like, in so much pain right now, which is kind of what the main character is feeling. Like he's just like, get me out of this situation. I hate it, I can't bear it anymore. And that's kind of <laughs> what I was feeling whilst watching the film, but not in because I hated the film, but because it was just like heavy. And then I also saw Lion, which, oh my God, I was just weeping the whole way through. like. <laughs> Sobbing. True stories like that get to me. I'm really sorry that I haven't kind of explained the plot to any of these films, but if you want to know more, just go watch the trailers. Next, some of my January favourites are games, i.e. board games. First of all, my friend got me into this game called Flux, and there's all sorts of different editions. So I bought myself the Monty Python edition because I love Monty Python, but we've played the original Monty Python and the Adventure Time edition. I don't know how to explain Flux. You kind of have to play it to get it, but we're obsessed with it and we just play it constantly. But it's really great. It's one of those card games that involve like a lot of thinking and strategizing and all of that sort of stuff. The next game that another friend has gotten me into in January is Settlers of Catan. Oh my god. I've heard so much about this game because I feel like it's in nerdy culture. I don't know. I just hear about it online. This is my friend's game, but she left it at our flat 
because she comes around a lot and then we get to play it together and it's very exciting and we love it and anytime a new person comes around to the flat we're like we're gonna teach you how to play Catan you need to learn how to play this game another favorite this month is that I got a new camera and a new microphone I don't know if you can tell from the audio does it sound good does this sound better and also this camera has autofocus oh my god what a dream look watch this da -da 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 -da. The camera body is the Canon 80D and I have a Sigma 18 to 35mm lens and the microphone is the H4N Zoom, if you're wondering. So in January, I stepped into Victoria's Secret for the first time ever in my life and I bought some sexy pyjama type things. First I got this thing, I don't think you could call this pyjamas actually, it's just completely see-through. I love this and it's so soft, it's so soft. And then I also got this like nighty, which is like dark blue and silky and it's got like lace on the top and then it also has like, I don't know if you can see, there's a slit somewhere in the leg. There it is. From the sexy to the not quite sexy, but reality. Um, another favourite this month is my menstrual cup. Oh my god. There will be an episode of the Hormone Diaries on this very soon but I just wanted to give it a shout out in my favourites video. I used it for the first time on my last period and oh my god, what a joy. I love you. You're amazing. This month I also have some makeup products. So after I did my How Cruel Is My Makeup Bag video, Lush got in touch with me, who are a cruelty-free brand, and they sent me some makeup. First is this eyebrow pencil. Normally for my eyebrows I kind of just use brown eyeshadow and a little eyebrow brush, um, but the eyebrow pencil is really good. I like it. It's like a crayon. And then my other favourites from what they sent me are these two lipsticks. Um, this one, which is called Amazing, is the one that I'm wearing now and it's kind of like a shiny purpley colour? I don't know, I'm really bad at describing things. And then this one is called Boss, which is more like orangey red. And I love my orangey red lipsticks. Next, some music favourites. So Tessa introduced me to this artist called John Bellion and I've been listening to his album on repeat and I'm obsessed. I absolutely love his sound. And I don't know what that means because I'm so bad at describing music, but it kind of reminds me of like an American version of Mr. Hudson and the library, but slightly more pop. Also, Gabrielle Aplin has released a new single, Miss You, which is so good. It's such a good pop song. And I'm assuming she's releasing a new album soon. So if the rest of the album is anything like that song, then I am really excited for it. My third music favourite, which isn't even out yet, but my favourite band, First Aid Kit, posted on Instagram and Twitter recently being like, oh, it is starting. And it's like they're currently recording their fourth album. And ha 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 ha. As soon as they posted that, I was just like, it's happening, it's happening. Because they haven't released new music in ages. And so I'm ready. I'm like, ready. I have no idea when it's coming out. All I know is that it's getting recorded now and I couldn't be happier because it means that they will release a new album and I'll have more first aid kit music to listen to and then they'll probably go on tour, which means I get to see them live again. And I've already seen them live like five or six times, but more, more please. They're my faves. Kind of related to music, another favourite of mine this month is my radio show on FUBAR Radio because it has picked up again for season two, I guess, in January, and I've got loads of new guests coming in, loads of new games, new segments, and it's so much fun. I'm feeling pretty drunk right now. I'm, I'm feeling pretty loose. I'm feeling know. drunk on you, Emma. That's what it is. Yeah, I wish you were here. We could share a bottle of wine and mm -hmm. uh, see where it goes. I could pour the rest of this all over you. I'm getting way too into it. I'd, I'd love that. It would help soothe the stinging from the from the horseradish. It's every Wednesday, 6 until 8 p.m. on foobarradio.com. You can listen online, but if you miss when it's live, then that doesn't matter because you can catch up at any point. But yeah, my Foobar Radio show is back and there's loads of fun new stuff happening on it. So tune in if you want to. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments things that you've been enjoying this month and anything that you reckon I should check out. And don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every week and I'll see you soon.